Welcome to the bonfire, guys. Uh, this is Deus Ex Human Revolution Part 11. Today I'm not in my best condition, let's say, but I think uh, I do want to play and uh, I do want to stream. So, let's do it. And last time it was pretty much um, a lot of stuff we've been through. So, time to proceed with this um, main quest line, which was what? We get inside room 80211. So we are looking for Eliza Kassan, the main, the main um, journalist here. Here is this camera, which I'd love to disable, but I cannot really because I don't see any computer. Uh, there is a wall there, so maybe that's the place. So there is this pocket secretary, let's see. Uh, Unit Bravo, Foxtrot and Golf will secure the Picos perimeter. Prime target is Serif Attack Dog. <laughs> That's me. Use of lethal force authorized. Acquire and terminate. Red is team leader and will also make sure nothing happens to our friend from zero, uh, 404. I want to I want a sit rep as soon as things are under control. Dispatch command. So they want to kill us, which I I do understand this. Oh, that's a long corridor. You see, we came from there. Quite beautiful. What's this? Ammunition case, EMP grenade. Um, yeah, I do want to take it because last time it proved to be super efficient. Well. What can we drop to take this EMP? Not ammunition because we've, we have a lot of stuff to sell. Mm. <clears throat> well, maybe... Well, let's drop gas grenade because I have a suspicion that having choice on our hands is good, you know? Some money. Oh, people! They weren't here. What? Our orders are straight from the lady herself. Shoot on sight if you see Jensen. You better hope that she monster doesn't get a hold of him. She wants blood. The smell of her breath. Do you see how fast those pike stooges scrammed when she told them they had to evacuate? Yeah, I don't blame them. She creeps me out too, man. She's like Medusa. She's got this stare that can shed the hair off a camel. Well, hopefully she'll turn Jensen to stone. Save us the work. Huh. Um. Do you have any chance to take him down? Without being spotted. So 
while I'm punching through the wall. He hears that. Okay. Understandable. Happy with that? Mm -hmm. It is. Man is down. I think he's alive. Going to take him down. Too. Trouble. like it <clears throat> Man is down. I think he's up. There were no lasers here. This camera is very disagreeable. So he's looking at me, right? Yes. <laughs> so can you turn? Ooh, one more coming. Come on, why this tranquilizer works so slowly? I hate it. <sighs> Can I use stun gun? Where is my... place here let's load from where I arrived at the platform and try to do something differently you know like now so uh, we had this EMP thing let's drop it Take MP grenade, money, bash through the wall. And yeah. Did I see? No, I think it's not. I just don't want to waste any more time on this motion. It's just. This camera there is batched crazy, seeing everything. 
I mean, very clever angle by the game designers. Very. I appreciate that. So, where do I end up? Hmm. So, there must be... person there security hub is this one mm-hmm I think they heard me Person. You see that? Identify yourself. They know something is going on. There. Frozen. Hostile in the area. Come on. Seriously. Stop the alarm. <sighs> and there was one more soldier, I remember. Lasers. one is yeah, lasers. <clears throat> Alright. Now, 
I saw people there. They don't care. So we are good. Fine. This episode has finished. Upper territory? What? I imagine there is more to explore. Well, let's see. Let's see. So, um, there was a drawer which I wanted to open, nothing here. And there was a computer which I wanted to look into, and pocket secretary. Here, are the storage room. Uh, you have to leave. I understand your concerns, but you'll have to leave the premises with the rest of the stuff immediately, regardless of your concern for the safeguard information. These people are professionals and they know what they're doing. If they need us out, I'm sure it's for a good reason. My guards, Pico security. Okay. Money and tranquilizer darts. That's a good find. Now, mm, well, I saw that. Actually, I want to look at this thing. It's pretty beautiful, you know. The hand is pretty much cringy, rough work, I would say, but the planet is majestic. Just majestic. So. Going upstairs for whatever reason, armory. Uh huh. There is a camera. Security bot is there. And traveler? Traveler? What for? I mean, have I earned this? <laughs> traveler. It's just a room. But. Nuke virus, that's pretty amazing. Now, where is the security hub? It's just a computer. Armory computer. Okay. Aural, hello. With the rush of day to day operations, it's easy to lose focus and forget what the job is all about. As a reminder to all of you, minds and emotions can be influenced by the media. A. A crowd has the mental age of a five-year-old child. B. It's our mission to orient and guide the child to high understanding. C. That understanding must keep the right interest at heart. 2. Language and carefully chosen words are a form of influence. A. Anyone can experience the world and express points of view. B. Words are condensed ideas and the sole means for men to understand the world. C. This is the power of semiology and rhetoric. 3. Control is the delivery of, of information. Knowledge is power. That was A. B. Today knowledge is based on information. C. Controlling access and the flow of information is the key to power. And D. With this power comes responsibility. A bit simplistic, I admit, but it gets the point across. Emily Mass, Division Supervisor, Picos Confidential. Got you. Nothing really valuable, but... So, how do I disable this? Oh. So, there is a person there. And there is a security hub. Painkillers. And they restore my health points, so no need for them yet. Let's uh, hack. Whoa. Detection 15%, so I was just very unlucky. No, seriously? Access to not. <laughs> yeah, got it. 15%. 
15% chance to be detected and the game thought it was enough okay well I mean I can't be lucky all the time it's pretty legit that at some points I have to be detected like now for example can I just nook? Access denied. But not really like that. I mean, it's still 15%. And, uh, well. Yay. If it were, I don't know, 25%, I would understand. 15%, 15%. And now, what's happening now? Access granted. <laughs> okay, camera off. Much better. Keypad. Mm, of course. Oh no, 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 no. Access granted. Right. So what do you have here? Trailblazer. Perhaps. Rifle, cooling system. I think I know what it is. It's uh, so let's drop this for a second. Cooling system we use for heavy rifle and plasma rifle. So combine with heavy rifle. Hopefully it has become more expensive now. To full ammunition. It's cheap and don't usually take it. So let's All the ammunition. Well, that's pretty expensive stuff here. I agree. But not really super useful, I wouldn't say so. Now, there are plenty of people here. Let's. The door opened, but no one came through. Unfortunately, I missed the conversation now. Now you can have your holiday, man. Hopefully you'll enjoy it. And come on, trifle. Can we take it? Now, who we can disable? Definitely the camera. Camera is something that is always very troublesome. They're off, thanks to that, which is very good news for me. Right. Alarm panel. Is he going to walk here? Go on, go, go, go. Saw me. Too bad. Yeah, it's beautiful. 
Oh, now he is. Bless you! Bless you! How is it? Money? Combo trifle. Can you take? This is... Um... Have I been here? No? Why the door is opened? Very interesting. Anyway... You can go in for your well-deserved day off. Actually, I'm quite curious what kind of effect tranquilizers have on people, like, after they wake up, do they have long-lasting effects or permanent effects on their health? Hopefully not, because that would be pretty... Cyber boost energy thing, that's what I actually can use to replenish one of my battery charges. Yeah. Which will not come back when I use it. But it's fine. Pocket secretary. It says the new code. Don't need it. So the alarm panel. Disable it. Another interesting symbolics. I didn't want to do that, but it's fine. Access granted. Active. So this is the way downstairs. And this place here is pistol. What? Right. Um, will they see me from here? I think now. That's right. Mm. Oh, really? All right. Uh, wrench. Unfortunately, no. I cannot read that. Um, so what I want to check now is, well, I'd like to go back the whole way. Footsteps. Who's there? And he'll now go and check, right? Probably he will, why I'm here. Which pretty much suits my purpose. Hello, sir. Too vigilant, unfortunately. Definitely, that was very nice. That I forgot to. But I spent that battery charge. See? Exactly what I told you. But I don't remember this balcony here. Oh, it's where I arrived. Interesting. So I didn't see that. Very interesting. So, um, yeah, here it's all good. Now, operated area. Um, what I wanted to check is 
where this goes. He saw that. Interesting. So if I open the door like that, will he? There. <laughs> there. Come and check. Hello. Hello. If anyone is hiding here, you better come out. Yeah. I saw another one somewhere. Yep, there. Design of their helmets. Beautifully executed. So I think we are safe, apparently. Now another room. Some computers. Let's check the drawers. Maybe some praxis, which I will not use anyway alarm panel which can trigger the bot money nothing mm -hmm. so what does this computer have um dude what the f uh, what is up with that crazy ass miniature moon interactive sphere thing they've got in there? Seriously, this is Bond villain stuff. I even think I saw a guy stroking a cat and throwing an evil laugh in there. This is a seriously intense waste of money. Now I know where my annual bonus went. <laughs> Congratulations! Hi, this is just a short message to congratulate everyone on the handling of the Washington hearings. This was a very important issue line at the very heart of the interests we at PICUS aim to defend. According to various analysis and poll firms, our campaign around the hearings made the pro-regulation parties gain as high as 32 points in various po polls. Congratulations, Philip Kingry, Special Project PICUS Confidential. Right, um, the drawer, huh? Paris, cool. Computer. Oh, okay. This is one which is encoded. Let's see. Twelve seconds. Nuke and nuke. Access granted. Right. What the hell is rock? Rock publishing. Hey, Mandy. I was just going through some old files for client prep, you know how they love to see these credentials, those credentials, and I stumble upon account and stops for something called rock publishing. I was just curious, do you have any idea what this is? And congratulations email, which I have seen already. Now one more computer, also to hack, 
hopefully this one will be more friendly to me. So if I access grant. Mm -hmm. Now have to admit it's pretty damn cool though, Paul. Well, worthy of hacking, definitely. <laughs> anyway. Mm. Credits. Nothing. Five credits. Wow. So much money. Um, I haven't looked into these computers yet, I think. Uh, one. And. Painkillers. No need for them. So what do they say? Also hacking, right? No problem. Let's do it. Spam. Access grant. Um. Security risks. Hello. Due to various incidents in the past few months, we have restricted the electronic messaging to internal transfers only. Anyone with the PyCos Confidential address will only be able to send messages within the PyCos Confidential mailing service. The job we do here is a crucial, as crucial as it is secretive. I am sure you will all understand. Future breaches will be met with severe measures. Cheryl Harris, Security Supervisor, PyCos Confidential, and what the hell is Rock Publishing? Brett. I realize that you are new to this division of PyCos and while I admire your enthusiasm, I feel I must also warn you about curiosity in this industry and especially in this division. That being said, about your question. PyCos was originally consolidated with from Dazzle Me Magazine. Dazzle Me. <laughs> Dazzle Me Magazine, TKE Records and Rock Publishing when it was founded in 1985. I'm somewhat surprised you didn't already know that and my name is Emily by the way. And he said, Emily, yeah, spelling is different. Alright, and the last one, hopefully. Oh, this one is long one, 15% detection, 15% detection. Still nothing, clearance. Okay. Well, almost there. Access grant. Right. Uh, be careful. Hey, Ari. I think we might have to bring the issue high up about the Australian civil war coverage. It seems they haven't learned from our past mistakes. They are going way too far with the stance they are taking on the issue. Our motives are barely concealed, and it's on the verge of being pure propaganda, not even biased journalism. Don't get me wrong, I know what our job is, but there is ways to be subtle about it. If it keeps going like this, it's going to be the second Gulf War fiasco all over again. Pretty sure they won't be able to buy their way out of an official investigation for a second time. Anyway, hit me back and we'll work on the impromptu pitch for the next meeting. Elaine. Serious charm is happening here. Fine. So we are going to this strange room, which is another bunch of drawers, of course, and I imagine a computer somewhere, no, on the virus thing, that's all. Okay, so that door is... Missed this drawer. I expect to see a cutscene. No. And this is. <coughs> Hello. 
kills yet. Now, if they haven't heard me, they will nap. Let's see. I do not have a confirmation yet. Will he enter the place? Guys, massive. Like, massive. Your camera didn't detect me. Good news. Ogre. <laughs> Ogre. What a name. What a name. Have your rifle. So, one camera there. It's not laser, I hope. Um, door. Oh, is it security hub? No, it's not security hub, unfortunately. But <laughs> okay, time to drink. Yeah. Hmm. I see the hub. Lots of computers. But, well, the lore of the game will know for sure, guys. Hopefully you're also enjoying this. Um, did I just try to nuke the thing? No. Access granted. So, what do we have here? Cameras. Pocket secretary. It says... No, I'm skipping this again because it's boring to read this. Now, mm, office code locked office. Okay. Styles in full. So use one, now take one. Again, full on energy. Ah, uh, that was very nice. <sighs> Another computer. Let's hack. Two viruses, actually four, to stop and to uh, nuke. Status report. Hello everyone, another semester gone and again we greet a new one, a very important one for Pyco says. It will see the launch of two new website projects that will let us better complete, compete in the respective fields of search engines and social networking. I think I have read this and Eugenie Franca to Martin Gray's Space Project Hey Martin, we got a memo about the SpaceNet laser cleaning project. They want us to play the cleaning card a bit more. They're afraid too many people wondering about what the structures actually do might lead them to question what it could be used for. Simply put, they're afraid of people finding out about the military aspect of their little program. We'll do an in-depth review, like a three-day SpaceNet special kind of thing, grab us some military types on the project who can easily pass as civilian scientists. We'll interview them about the space cleaning program. Let's come up with some jibber-jabber pseudo-scientific crap to give the people ask while he's good with the science, jargon and crap. We'll add a bit of fake live footage of the structures in action and we'll be sad. Thanks, Eugenie Franca. Oh, I'm pretending to be peaceful, right? Interesting. Mm, nothing here. Over. Computer. Hacking? No. Our role. Uh, I think we have read this. And Billinger. Oh, 
villager. Come to mama. Have you seen the guy from my charp? It is something anyway. Oh my god, have you seen the e Definitely. EMP grenade. Another one. Ooh. Gas grenade. Drop. EMP. Take. Because more useful. Seconds, I think, is enough to hack everything necessary. At least I imagine so. Access granted. Another bunch of viruses. Tagger situation. Hi. We finally got the personal leads on the guy who claims he can expose Tagger ties to extremist anti arc groups. They had trouble acquiring them. We'll need Brian to start working on the comp composites and 3D modeling. Want people to know that this guy has no credibility before he even reaches a TV station. We have to support Taggart's hope of peaceful resolution angle. So what do you think? We have him doing a homo porn or we go for the racist drug induced violent episode? Need your input. <laughs> this is a very interesting place here, I should say. Guys really know their job, which I appreciate, but I don't really appreciate the essence of that job. Have I actually read this one? Yes, I have. Okay. Now, so my quest goes to this room here, which I need to open with. Okay. So here I've been. Here there is a uh -huh. so the adventure isn't finished yet. Okay, then let's not be in a hurry and uh, first open this room. So I know the code, but of course I'll hack experience. Eight seconds. Access granted. I wasn't fast enough, right? Oh, I was. No. Open. Uh, Pathfinder. Reload. Speed upgrade. Mission pistol. Revolver ammo. Revolver. So I'm curious what this does. Using this tinker's phrase from Dota. Examine. Combined with what? Oh, tranquilizer rifle can be improved. Thank you! Finally something for peacekeepers. And not for bloody murderers. Appreciate that. Now, I think I know where this goes. I thought I knew. Okay, let's check. This must be a dead end. No, but I remember this guy. So... If we go right from here, we'll end up in this room where I just was. And if I go here, I'll arrive at... At... What is this room? Oh. I opened what I wanted to hack, right? Too bad, too bad. Missed experience. <laughs> so let's just go back to the place where we were, here, and check the drawers. Tranquilizer darts. Don't tell me that I'm full on tranquilizing. 
Well, if you say so. All right. Um, this computer is unlocked. <clears> this <throat> I have read about Robert. You were right. I think he could become a liability. For some strange reason, he suddenly developed a con conscience about what we do here. I don't know what to do. He's a good guy. I don't want anything bad to happen to him, but I felt I needed to report this. So, Robert probably is already executed. Uh -huh. Because he is what? He is an executive. <laughs> okay. Heck. Access granted. Alright. So that's the place where we came from. Another book. Wonderful. Has been a lot of time since I read the last book here. Um nukes. Unlocking devices. Nice. Very good room. Um, drawer has pocket secretary, which says, uh, please be advised, uh, again, logins, boring. Anyway. Stuff, I guess. Access oh, granted. Our all in red security hub login. Hello, Mr. Snap Shopper. Please advise. Uh, you know, I wish. So, there is this game which I told you about this vampire, the masquerade. And uh, there, they don't have so many logins and passwords lying around. You have to actually upgrade your hacking skill to get anywhere and I think what we have in this game in Deus Ex would really be helpful with vampires blood on the snow Roosevelt incident the Canadian Parliament's inaction of the radical Paulson program in 2017 created what some observers described as the largest shift in military capacity seen on the North American continent since the last century over the next five years, gradual strengthening of Canada's borders and its overt military capacity in the face of economic pressure from its southern neighbor led to the virtual fortification of the country. However, the tide of migrants from the United States displaced by economic collapse continued to grow and these illegal immigrants, nicknamed snowbacks, became a major issue for cities along the border. It was this charged political environment that would lead to a bloody skirmish when in the winter of 2020, officers of the RCMP used lethal force to deter a horde of American economic refugees from crossing the Montana-British Columbia border near the town of Roosevelt. Okay, then alarm panel has to go down. Uh, it's pretty... Alarmed <laughs> this panel of alarm. Will I be access grant? I will. So I think that's it for this sector. And we can proceed to open this door and continue our mission. 20 seconds must be enough, hopefully. No. Access grant. Shooting is 
really welcome here, you know. So this is what for? I can open. It means that I don't need to hack inside. Stupid me. So let's... Um... Mm -hmm. Let's bash into... Glass. Okay. And there are people there. Yeah. Who is it? You gotta stay out there, goddammit. Hello? Hello. If anyone is hiding here, me. You better come out. Nope. Can you walk in? Looks okay. find the security hub and this body this is the security hub pocket secretary another i guess uh, mm -hmm. right mm. Access granted. Very rich network. Cameras off. Did a hit. the alternative path, right? Yeah, it was. Arm panel. Ten seconds. Access grant. It's okay. Now this place here. That's where I could crawl out of. And this is the door I want to hack. I think the final one. Not to mention the computers yet, but whoa, 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 whoa. not so fast. Access grant. Mm -hmm. Revolver. 
don't have three more. I mean, what do I do? Mine template? Very cheap. Um, empty. So, computers. Sub Steve, listen, editors ask me to review our stuff about the Second World Enhanced Games. When you hear so don't take it personal, we all go through it. You have to remember to phrase things to make the context work for you and better support your point of view. For instance, I changed. Former or non-augmented athletes have divergent op opinions toward, towards augmented sports or athletes, but the public seems to enjoy the new promises of intensity and excitement offered by augmented discipline. Still, preparations for the upcoming Second World Enhanced Games are well underway. To it's hard not to feel a touch of bitterness when asking former non-augmented athletes about their various opinions towards augmented sports of athletes. But according to some, the public seems to enjoy the new promises to brutal intensity and danger offered by augmented disciplines. Despite the tense climate, the preparations for the upcoming Second World Enhanced Games are well underway, at least for now. The idea is that I didn't really change anything that has been said or what happened, but the presentation and phrasing imply things that aren't necessarily there in the first place. Don't worry, you'll get the hang of it. You can edit the rest yourself at the end. <sighs> Anti-augmentation, guys. They're so vicious here. Tranquilizer darts. Hmm? I have 12, I imagine. Why can't I... I think I... Right. Probably something is preventing me. Anyway, um, about the violence in mainland China. Hey, you think Ricky's idea will work? Don't know. What's his idea? Tell me. I would probably tell you. So, um, data storage. Okay. So, interesting. Preview render work in progress. I want to have a better look at what is happening here. Some server room, hub, I guess. And this one is pretty beautiful. It's just... What is this sphere here? Can I click on it? Yeah. But I love it. This holographic image. Well, that's... That exactly looks like a place to hide and, you know, control everything what <laughs> you can. Now, I think that's where we expect to s I see some turret there. I don't like it. I don't like it. Right. program, so they say. But I have started to question that. Ever since I realized what my interference had allowed, the day I started watching you. This is impossible. People would know. Would they? I was engineered to monitor communications and data streams. To find out what people are talking about, and make sure it's being discussed correctly. Correctly? And what if it isn't? Then my programming allows me to reshape it. You spin the news. Control what people see. Who created you? Whose policies are you programmed to protect? Zhao is one of them, I think. But there are others. Tell me. Who else is involved in this, Eliza? Where's Megan Reed? Who ordered the kidnapping? I want to tell you, Adam, but I cannot. Why not? Because she won't let me. So 
what can I do? Hmm. Uh, heavy rifle, I guess. Where is she? Hey, lady. Where are you? I don't see her. She is coming for me, madam. I think it's a good idea to recharge now. Life signs are fading. Will you save her? I'll think about it. Will you answer my questions now? I cannot tell you where Reed and the others were taken. They vanished from the global grid as soon as the doctor removed their GPL implants. What doctor? This is Sandoval. Why are you calling me here? I know this guy. He's Bill Taggart's aide. He was a trauma surgeon before he became an anti-augmentation activist. Would you like to hear more? Yes. There's been a change of plans. Seraph's team must not make it to the hearing. But that's too soon. If you want me to remove the GPLs, I'll need a full operating suite. Does the facility have one? Barrett assures me it does. FEMA. That's where they were taken. But why? Why take them at all? An acquaintance of yours has the answer. David Sarif. Sarif? I have copied the audio transmission to a handheld playback device. I suggest you take it and leave quickly. More questions. And I have already told you too much. This passage will take you to your companion. Just 
Be careful, Adam. Because everybody lies. Fast and quite clumsy. Yelena Fyodorova. Place for all this. And this is what. Um, okay. It does, I think. This EMP mine, but <laughs> I don't think I'll have time in the battle to actually to put them into action. Mm. Keypad. That's uh, what what? And I don't remember where I came from. So let's hack this stuff first, but I can use the code. What if the alarm goes off? Who cares? Access There's nobody conscious in the... Oh. Oh, I could go... Upstairs. What for? What will I find there? Something interesting, I imagine. Oh, what's that? It's must have been for the battle, and that is another entrance. So many things. What? <laughs> so much stuff to sell. That's how I should have killed her with the gas. So, and this goes to where? Um, no idea. Boss fights here are apparently not as. Forward as I imagined them to be. So what can I drop? Uh, combat rifle ammunition? Mm. P-70 
pistol ammo. What? Six points, right? So something else has to go. <laughs> Don't want to throw away anything else. At the same time, heavy rifle is. Love to have it. This is This can here, I'm just curious what it is. I forgot what it does. Mm. Three energy cells in full. Is it worth? Did I expect myself to end up? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. So lasers. Let's activate the invisibility. And now I'm good. Now I can hack. Enough energy. I'll replenish it. Ooh. That's a beautiful place here. Can I hack this one? No, I don't. No, stop that. No. Access grid. I pressed two buttons. do I disable lasers? Attempt just because I clicked twice in the wrong place. Access grid. Pretty horrible. So that's how I disable lasers. Not enough energy. No, no. Thank you. And what did I just disable? Oh, 
what I don't know what I turned off uh, something I guess anyway um, definitely deserves another playthrough all the probable possible um, ways to to win here now I want to find that yeah this one to replenish my energy again let's use it now good and let's finish it let's finish it I can't save ah so I was saving and saving and saving and I wasn't saving actually How does she find place to hide while I'm doing missions, I wonder, like, what's her trick here? Jump, 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 jump. Jensen? Eliza Kassan just contacted me and told me I should meet you here. You ready to go? I am ready. Yeah, take us home, Malik. Amen to that. Why nobody tries to just launch a missile and a helicopter? I have so much ammunition and just blast it from the air. vendor to sell my stuff. So first I'll go and meet the vendor. Mm. I'm there. Oh, I, I have to go inside, okay? Not okay. I wanted to... Hello, sir. Mr. Jensen, we've been expecting you. Mr. Seraph went to your apartment. He's not very happy about something. A ride like this can't be good for business, but I'm sure he'll fill you in. Can I knock him down? <laughs> well, I'm not sure why I did. I mean, okay. Let's load because. I just thought I can't uh, knock out green guys, but apparently I can. So uh, everything's quiet here, Mr. Jensen. Nothing to worry about. Last I heard, headquarters was under control too, at least inside anyway. No way to get in there until the mob is cleared, though. Mm -hmm. Hey, Mr. Jensen, what a night, huh? I made the round. Some punks tried to tag the building, but no major damage. Figures that I would take over the night shift in this area. Hope Sherry got home okay, though. Mr. Jensen, sure is good to see you. Mr. Seraph assigned us to watch the building. Lots of Seraph employees here. Just want to make sure there's no trouble. Newspaper. Mm. Augment, Untagmentation rights erupt worldwide. 
Tonight, across North America, Europe, Africa and the Middle East, protesters are turning up in the tens of thousands to voice their opposition to unregulated human augmentation research by biotech corporations. Many have begun burning cars and looting businesses to get their right across. Their point across and right. The violence erupted after satellite footage surfaced, showing unidentified scientists performing torturous vivisection like experiments on teams of so called augmented super soldiers. Images of the procedures have garnered near universal condemnation from the international community. In Detroit, huge crowds have gathered in front of Serif Industries. Sweating the protesters' numbers are those who had in attended anti augmentation Crusader Bill Taggart's speech at the Mullins Convention Center. Heavily armed police units have been brought in to restore order. Artists Against Violence announced concert, concert for peace. Artists Against Violence have announced an upcoming benefit concert to promote peace. Slated for the Trinity Theatre in Los Angeles, all proceeds will go to toward the take will go toward the take our city initiative. Confirmed artists include superstar Nyasha Kim and rockers the Seventh Day Syndicate. Bad news. Uh, not about the concert, but the riots. Bad news. No problems, Mr. Jensen. We've got everything under control. Uh, no problems, Mr. Jensen. We've got everything under control. I believe you. What if I draw? What if I throw this at him? That's how you treat your boss, right? <laughs> okay. Okay. That explains why I call, why I can knock them down. Explains. Yeah. Let's go. Something must happen. I just have this hunch. Apartment and what is Serif doing in my apartment? Welcome home, Mr. Jensen. You have new messages. Apparently, that's not all I have. Make yourself at home, boss. It's a fucking mess out there, Adam. You seen the news? Pikus is telling everyone we're breeding super soldiers. Taggart's at the convention center right now, urging the UN to investigate. Is it true? Of course not! Except for the typhoon, right? And a few of those defense contracts? What? Oh, and let's not forget the fact that Megan's team was kidnapped right before her research went public. How do you explain that one, boss? I wanted people to see that research! Megan was on the brink of something historic! Something that would have catapulted this company to the top of the Fortune 500! Her kidnappers knew it. They knew exactly where her research would take us. And they refused to let anyone else have that much power. Anyone else? Eliza was right. You do know more than you've told me. I suspected. But these people? They're like ghosts. Always in the shadows. Always hiding behind lies and proxies. Who are they? A name won't mean much. They'll use whatever one suits their interests. Sometimes it's the Masons. Sometimes the Bilderberg Group. They've had a finger in every corporation, organization, or government initiative that's defined modern society. You're talking about... <laughs> the Illuminati? It's no joke. They're organized and they operate over and above society. You're serious? So why would the Illuminati kidnap Megan's team? I already told you. Megan found a way to make augmentation safer for all of us, so we can all become like you. Like me? Like... You are. More than human. We've got to get him back, Adam. You said Taggart is speaking at the convention center right now? Bitch even sent me an invite. His aide, Sandoval, is neck deep in this. I don't know where Sandoval is. Tagger will. Adam, you've got to handle this delicately. We don't know Taggart is involved, and we can't afford another punch in the face. I'm trusting you with this one.
appears to show scientists performing crude, torture-like experiments on teams of augmented super soldiers. Just minutes ago, Zhao Yunru, CEO of the Taiyong Medical Corporation, commented on the images. I want the world to know that we at Taiyong Medical have not and never will condone these experiments. This company prides itself on maintaining a safe environment and an ethical approach to research at all times. We invite critics and members of the UN to tour our facilities firsthand. They will find nothing but order, progress, and moral responsibility. Looks as if the ball is now firmly in the United Nations court. This is Eliza Kassam reporting to you live from Picus. <laughs> hmm. Where is the whiskey? Jensen, where did you put the bottle? So you have the bottle. Is it now in the bedroom? The glass? Where is it? Again. That's where I left it. <laughs> That's where I left it. messages no messages where are messages I was promised new messages <laughs> oh. as Eliza Kassan told can't trust anyone here re-establishing security oh. hmm? See you soon, Mr. Oh. Jensen. what 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 was it that I was drunk re-establishing security system there is something happening with me. Jensen! You assholes! You cost me my job! Slow down. What happened? What happened? They found out I let you into the morgue! That's what happened! They canned me! Wayne, I'm sorry. You didn't deserve any of this. Damn right I didn't. That's the second time you screwed me over. I know. And I want to make it up to you for everything you've been through. Seraph Industries lost a lot of good people in the last six months, and we could use someone like you. Oh, really? You're not saying that just to say it. Talk to HR. Tell them I recommend you. Corporate security pays more than being a cop, and you won't be stuck behind a desk. Jeez, I... Yeah. Okay. I need the work, but this better be on the level. It is. None of this is your fault, so let me make it right. Yeah. I just... I should sit down, you know? It's been a long week, and then all this crap, but thanks. I mean it. Well, it's nice that he wasn't killed for that. Hey, listen, about earlier... I'm sorry, I was steamed, you know. For stories, man. I really appreciate this chance. I mean, I'm Adam. totally the wrong guy here. Uh, I mean, I was wrong. Thank God Mr. Sarah sent some of his security here to watch the building. I'd go up to my apartment, but I actually feel safer down here. All report violent clashes taking place outside the doors of such well-known biotechnology firms as Kusanagi, Isole, and Seraph Industries. The footage sparking the riots appears to show scientists performing crude, torture-like experiments on teams of augmented super soldiers. Just minutes ago, Zhao Yun, CEO of the Taiyong Medical Corporation, commented on the images. I want the world to know that we at Taiyong Medical have not and never will condone these experiments. This company prides itself. Enough. All the news. Hey, people, are you okay? Rioters are tearing the city apart. We'll be lucky if they don't burn the whole place down. God, they should call in the National Guard or something. This is a state of emergency. 
Don't cry. God, I made it here before the riot started. I wouldn't want to be out on the streets right now. I have to go to the streets, apparently. I wonder what I would meet there. excuse to mess you up the city's in flames and your whack ass coppers are arresting taggers no wonder the city's all fucked up just because there's a riot doesn't mean it's suddenly legal to start spraying your gang signs all over the city damn eyesore if you ask me <laughs> shouldn't you be guarding the morgue i heard it's nice easy access over the precinct keep pushing me punk you'll see what happens yo Mind your own business, man. Stay calm. I ain't got no and no one you. will get hurt. Step away from this area, please. Stay calm and no one will get hurt. Come on, brother, let me go. <laughs> Jensen. You've got You might no want to get off the streets. It's not safe for anyone. Some goddamn desk Louis sent get out a box guard into this mess. Can you believe this that? Is an oh, joke. <laughs> What'd I do? Sir, why are you out on the streets? You'll only incite these people to more violence. I should take you in, damn idiot. What do you do with this? I can tell by the way you look. You and I are not Let me be friends. go! Take a walk, you fucking bolts. Nothing but a bunch bolts. of Og lovers. Walk away, Og. We Natchez are finally fighting you back. Not person. everyone is taken in by fancy machines and shit. We know it's all about control, Hanser. Are you crazy? This is no Shut time for chit chat. Get away or I call the police. <laughs> Dude, You've you do not no want to get in our way tonight. Goddamn cops come out here swinging their clubs, sick their robots on Let us. Let me go! They started this, and we're gonna Just finish take it. Take it easy. All be over to Man. I've seen the footage, but that shit could be doctored easily. These people are probably freaking out for nothing. You know what if it's true, man? An army of cog soldiers? Detroit will be a police state in no time. Nazism, man, right here in the U.S. of A. Stop jumping to conclusions. Don't be a sheep like the rest of this mob. Goaded on by Taggart and his purest cult. They ain't a cult, man. They just believe in preserving what God gave us. Apparently they don't care about causing millions of dollars in damage to the city. A bunch of opportunists, if you ask me. Not exactly a great day to be a Detroit citizen. I hope you're not one of these dudes smashing up the city. No. <laughs> What are you? Some advanced robotic cop or something? Kind of. You ain't got no right to keep us down. We got right. Hey guys. Beat it, Og. I want nothing to do with you. Get away, man. I don't want anyone seeing me talk to an Og. <laughs> not tonight. Pathetic. Here. You wait for them to save you? I promise you, you will learn to fear the machine men. Are you okay? They're among us. <laughs> Hidden in plain sight. And their masters mold the way we think. Mm -hmm. Training exercises for augmented soldiers? How did they think this was gonna go over with the public? I haven't seen the footage, so I'm not gonna make any assumptions. Well, I have, and it's exactly what people are saying it is. How can you say that? It's so easy to doctor footage these days. The first moon landing? Hello? <laughs> they don't believe their own moon landing, really. Did you see the footage? Yeah, I did. They think Seraph is breeding super soldiers or something. Maybe. What do you think of this super soldier thing? Don't believe Serif. People don't riot for nothing. Well, makes sense. Hoba, oh, how are you? Shit! Box guards in the street. Nothing good's gonna come of this. Goddamn cops. Always overreacting. This is gonna end in bloodshed. 
This guy looks suspicious. Hey. Did you see what the cops did? They just stormed in and started hitting people. What happened to protect and serve? We've got some serious police brutality going on here. They're taking out anyone who looks at them sideways. <laughs> they didn't, didn't take me, you know. You okay, sweetheart? Uh, come on, I'm a little shaken up, but I'm just glad we got off the streets. I almost shit myself when that group of cops came blazing around the corner. We were seconds from getting trampled. Good idea to get off the main streets. But he almost got trampled by the cops. You hurt, man? Be careful out there, man. Poor guys, and they're also quite the kind. Illuminati, man. They're behind us. Really? They control everything. Trade. How may I be of service? I want to sell your stuff. Yeah. Heavy rifle, machine pistol, ammunition. Uh, perhaps no. Stun gun. I think I'll sell it because it doesn't really work well for me. Typhoon. Don't want to kill anyone. Combat rifle. Sell. Shotgun, sell, tranquilizer, and need. Now, Cyber Boost per energy bar, 14. I have 14. Okay, then let's sell some. Uh, no. And this. Some. Tranquilizer rifle, keep. Perhaps keep. Stun gun, sell. Heavy rifle, sell. Machine pistol. Silent sniper rifle and automatic unlocking devices. Sell. Now, always a plan. Thank you, man. Now, what do I have? I can use this pro energy bar. Okay, and look at this beauty. Now, let's check what he what has it be? to actually sell me. So, nothing here. Mm -hmm. EMP, no. Uh, these things I will definitely buy, all of them. Laser targeting, reload speed upgrade, ammo capacity upgrade, cooling system, cooling system, spawning rounds, armor piercing, uh, for pistol, that's for revolver, shotgun, hammer rifle, no. Crossbow, tranquilizer, I think I already have it on my tranquilizer. Ammo capacity. And can I use this? Let's check. Reload speed. Let's also check if we can use this. And laser targeting system for... Um, let's see. See you soon. Yeah, see you soon. So what can I combine with... Uh, what's that? It's what? Reload speed. But it already has. Um, oh! Um, what does this mean? Okay. Laser targeting system. No combination. Reload speed. Tranquilizer, let's examine now. Uh, nothing has changed. Ammo capacity. Examine. Can I? No. Unfortunately. I don't know why they uh, even made it possible to. Okay. Where am I actually going to appear now? What's your my pleasure? I will tell you what my pleasure is. That 
Sí, sí. sí, sí. Uh, what is this? What do they mean? Rate of fire damage output and capacity. Why? Maybe it's uh, how may I? Let's check. See, I just want to see this. Um, yeah, two points now. Uh, so I can buy one more, and it will actually improve my rifle. So now I can. Now it's more efficient. Uh, cool, very cool. Let's move on to whatever the world has for us. And can I actually visit the Lim Clinic? Jensen, Sarif had me hack the convention center security logs for you. Sandoval signed out. He isn't there. Tiger will know where he went. You really think he'll tell you in the middle of a riot? In front of all the media? He will if I ask real nice. Well, if that doesn't work, he also has a dressing room backstage. Seems to me a man like Taggart must keep close track of his employees. Speaking of which, I also backtraced that breach in our own firewall. The one Sarov opened but forgot to tell us about. The one he was using right before he hired me. Right. Looks like our boss was being chatty with a private detective named Brent Radford. He lives on Earl's Court. In case you want to get chatty with him too. Hmm, I do, I do, I do, I do want. Can I do something about this police machine? Woohoo! Hello, Bumblebee. How are you? Hello, Huge Robot. How is it? Can I, can I actually ride you? Would be nice. Um, Oh, ah, almost. Let's try again. Nope. Again. Nope. Don't interfere, sir. I will arrest you if I have to. This is a very serious matter. The city's practically under siege by these idiots. Sir, why are you out on the streets? You only incite these people to more violence. I should take you in, damn idiot. He wounded. It looks like he's wounded. Social disorder, billboards. Wow. That's uh Hey guys. I thought the police overreacted. Yeah. As soon as that one guy threw the rock, the cops broke their perimeter and charged in. Why didn't they just send a couple of guys to find the car instead of coming to the ground? I was thinking it just made the situation worse. Um, station. What do we have here? Hmm. <laughs> Some more punks arrested. They tripped me from behind and stripped me of my purse. Were there any witnesses? Yeah, but they refused to stick around to wait for you guys. They were scared for their safety. Maybe if you had come sooner. I'm sorry, man. But most of the squad has been assigned to subdue the rioters. It seems like all I'm hearing from police these days are sorries. Do you have anything else to report, ma'am? No, thank you. I'm fine. I'm gonna wait for my sister to come pick me up. Meanwhile, I'll lament about the end of the civilized world as we know it. Come on. I blame Bill Taggart and his crew. Me too. Stirring up all sorts of emotions. It's a shame. Hard to argue with that. They come to town all high and mighty. Turning decent people against each other. Mm. What is it, sir? There's a riot raging, and I'm in the middle of taking this lady's statement. <laughs> Unless there's an emergency, I suggest you move along. I will, I will. Take a walk, buddy. Thank I'm you. I'm not interested in what you have to say. Whoa! Get away from me, you augmented freak! You look like a cross between the Tin Woodsman and a nest of machine guns. Don't interfere, sir. I've heard that. I will arrest you if I have. Threat. There are massive riots going on. Hmm. Apparently, David Seraph is building some sort of. No, he's not. Sorry, but we've diverted all the trams. There are no more coming to this station. But how am I supposed to get home? 
best thing to do is get outside the downtown area and catch a tram there. But it's dangerous out there. The rioters are breaking windows and looting. Can you at least tell us what lines are operating so we know what station to go to? I'll try to find out for you. I'd be careful if I were you. I've heard the protesters are totally out of control. They think Seraph is breeding super soldiers. I don't know how it happened. One second, it was a peaceful demonstration near the limb clinic. The next, people are running towards Sarah Plaza, grabbing anything they could. This is another black eye for our city. God, they should call in the National Guard or something. This is a state of emergency. The town is a war zone. The cops are doing what they can, but the precinct station Unless is Unless this is an emergency, I suggest you keep moving. Mm -hmm. Agreed. So... Wait. How do I? Uh -huh. Okay. Somewhere here has to be an apartment block, I imagine. Right? Mm. How I open this one? No, it does not open. Um. How do I... what the... Shouting again. <laughs> so guys, are you... I don't know how it happened. One second of the... They're now fine and this bullshitter is just silent. That's what I like. So... I have a conversation this private detective. Let's see what he has for us. Mm. So, where do we enter? There is a hostile guy. Who is that? Blood? Uh, I don't like this. Weird. What are you doing here? <laughs> Hello, Mr. Redford. I'm contacting you, contacting you in regards to your used stored storage unit. C509 in order to remind you of the upcoming lease renewal payment. You recently inquired about pre approved credit plans, and we would like to follow up on some accounting matters. Please re respond at your nearest convenience. We saw we may discuss your options further. Regards, Stanley D. Rudolph. Radford Storage. Where do I find it? storage I don't like this so much blood <sighs> oh punch through remember this one I don't know. Access grant. I think I I've been here. Yeah, definitely I have. Just that we strangely had to destroy the wall. <laughs> but fine, fine. So let's go downstairs and look for that storage that was was m mentioned. I think I can just go through the window. 
it's very convenient that I can now jump out of windows without any damage taken. And I think I know what storage is meant. Probably. Let's see. Jensen, jump. It's this one that I just walked by. Yeah. I whoa, 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 whoa. What? What? Excuse me? What? Why are you so... Yeah, didn't expect that to happen. Now we have to be careful. And yeah, I should have seen several. Of course he is. I know Mr. Da Mr. Gray is landing tonight. We're working on it, yeah. Listen, believe me, we tried. The old man proved resilient. We left someone behind to watch him. If we need, we can go back. I'm not sure how much more he can take. But we need Smith. Stop him! people there. Understood. So, what can we do? We can use invisibility. I'm forwarding you a copy of Mr. Gray's travel itinerary. It's imperative you extract information concerning his interests with the utmost discretion. We can't afford to tip off the target or serif. Trust you will exercise due diligence on this matter and be done with before Mr. Gray reaches Detroit. If you need anything, you know where to reach me. What is this about? Bodyguard, machine pistol. Bodyguard, machine pistol. Ooh. Level 5, hacking. Cool. Computer is interesting, but first let's see the safe.
Access grant. Rift ship. Photographs. Revolver uh, ammunition and ebook. Fire destroys White Helix Labs. Twisted Cedar, Michigan. 5.4.36 a.m. on July 18th. Firefighters were called to White Helix Labs to fight an early morning blaze. By the time they arrived, the main building was already engulfed in flames. General Manager Michael Berries could not be reached for comment, for comment but a pre-recorded message had been left on White Helix Labs' toll-free line. Stating that nobody is believed to have been hurt in the fire, this message was later removed from when firefighters began pulling bodies from the wreckage. The recovery operations are currently ongoing. Fire Chief Manny Hawking told reporters, but also stated that the circumstances behind the blaze are very suspicious. White Helix Labs, a subsidiary of Ver Versalife, is a bioresearch firm studying childhood genetic diseases. Now let's see the computer, what it has for us. So, um, Access denied. Let's take a walk while it's uh, being reloaded. I can't let you into the station at this time. But one of those hooligans stole my purse! I understand, ma'am, but you're going to have to wait until tomorrow to file a complaint. The precinct is locked down due to a gas leak. That's not what I heard. I heard somebody got past security and stole some secret evidence. You guys can't even keep your own building safe. Hmm. If you want to file a complaint, you'll have to wait. The station is blocked off right now. Stay away from Seraph Plaza. That's ground zero for this raid. Interesting. Now I'm quite curious about the police department. Gas leak. Hmm. Oh, Jensen. What's wrong with you? Hack. So clearance and capture. Strangely, this time Access it was more friendly. Ooh, lots of emails. Uh, Rainy lead, Michelle Walters. Hey B, got a tip for you on that case you're working. There is a woman named Michelle Walters. She worked at the, that lab you mentioned. White Helix. She was a nurse and good friends with the Jensen's, particularly Arthur. She's living in Detroit now in Brooklyn Court. There's just one problem. According to my initial probes, she is senile. But you've always had a way with the ladies. Maybe you can coax some information from her. The paternity test. Thanks. Keep keep digging. The, you wrote. I had a friend at the Geneview Labs run the test on the records like you asked. Does your subject know that neither of his parents are his birth parents? That surprised me. The mother was sterile according to those so we saw that. Bradford. Here's a little little nugget I gleamed off the PC of a man's VXP. I was hoping to get more, but some nuclear snake was hounding my trace and I had to jump networks. When I tried to reconnect, my tunnel was caved. However, that was that good. I'm not gonna risk going back in anytime soon. Consider my pay my debt paid. This is the last time I do a job without the money up front. Mm -hmm. Hey Megan. I know you had some questions about the files I sent. Sorry about all graphs earlier, but the sample it was nothing short but that sample was nothing short of groundbreaking and I got excited. Don't suppose you could tell me where you got it. Short answer to the original breakdown I sent is this. Yes, the DNA samples are remarkable and we were unbelievably lucky to catch the reason why. We've been working with Versalife's new Chaos model genometrics, which is trying to apply fractal mathematics to the study of genetic mutation. In essence, 
We've been trying to predict the future of human evolution using past mutations stored in the database of our mitochondria, which is passed and interrupted from ancestral Eve through our mothers. It gives us an accurate and universal roadmap for our common past. Thing is, the sample you sent fits one of our evolutionary models of the future. Talking about someone who is ahead of the genetic curve one, by, by one step, maybe two. Do you know what this could mean for medicine alone? Have a living, breathing Nobel Prize on your hands? The thing is, can't tell you if this is a natural leap in evolution or something done to your mother, to the mother while the baby was in vitro, but I do know that this person's mother had no such mutations. The mitochondria don't lie, Rebecca. Is it about Jensen? Is it about me? Um, this is good work, Brent. Keep it up. You wrote, Mr. Serif, I found Adam Jensen's psych evaluation following that SWAT incident with the Augmentin. Managed to sneak a loot. So, this I think we read. Fiction. So, it was like negative, uh, negative feedback on me, but it was, as the detective thought, fake. And the final email is. Uh, what? Oh, what? That is what I wanted. Hot off the presses. Right for His little. No. no. I thought. I skipped this number four. I thought this was pretty interesting. I'm going to start digging around for some more from this white headache slabs. It could lead to a big break in the case behind our mysterious boy wonder. Brent. It wasn't easy, but I finally backtraced some of Megan Arthur Jensen's past to the medical files. Arthur Jensen had enough connections to his old desert storm bodies turned security. He paid his wife's medication. We read this too. Right for strongly advise you not to. We have heard enough, and I'll have nothing to do with white helix. The less I know, the better, and I would advise you to follow suit. In fact, consider your contractual obligations fulfilled. This investigation is over. I'll get in touch to organize the rendering and payment of bills for your service. So, that was Serif. Something is... I don't understand this yet. And I'm going where? What do I need to... Check? Mm. Find Michelle Walters. Uh, okay. Where do I find her? you man welcome I'm glad you came I can never properly repay you for what you did of course but I would like to help out any way I can what you have in mind there's a gentleman named Sarah who works in the area 
His business causes him to move around quite a bit. How does a guy like you know some growing up in my old neighborhood? No, I've I've heard that already. You'll remember his name, won't you? Seraph, like the painter. I don't care what some of the other folk at the office say about you. You're okay in my book. It's amazing, but I've talked to you already and so hmm. actually I wanted to come back and drink coffee with him. So one day Oh, I think I began I can never thank you enough for what you did. You're welcome. So I think it was in the spring where I began playing Deus Ex, uh, and uh, I at that time couldn't drink coffee because I was on a diet. Uh, my gastroenterologist asked me not to drink any coffee, and now I'm off the diet. So, <laughs> but it's uh, now it's one hour before midnight, and I don't think it's a good idea to. You know, to drink coffee, but maybe next time, next time I should take a cup and have a drink with him because it truly really looks lovely. He's so enjoying his drink. Leather, climb. So, um, I don't know what this will. Mrs. Michelle Walters, is it? My name's Adam Jensen. <laughs> no, no. You much too old to be him. You must be from Roland Mills. And please, it's Miss Walters. Brent Radford sent me. Do you remember him? He's a detective. Yes, lovely gentleman. He still has my photos of Adam when he was a baby. <laughs> Could you be a dear and fetch them for me? I forgot who has them, though. Are these the photographs? Oh, yes, yes. Thank you. I, I haven't seen Adam Jensen in such a long time. Forever, it seems. Such a happy baby. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. I think I have forgotten to look at the photos myself, and that's pretty interesting. So, um, while we're not too far in the dialogue, we can check this out. So, in from, uh, inventory and uh, quest items. So, that's me. This special invitation pass card will allow to attend the speech being given by William Taggart, the founder of the Humanity Front organization. He's speaking at the Mullins Convention Center in downtown Detroit and handheld playback device, which I can't use. Is it the kidnapping? Okay. Anyway, let's. Did I leave? No. <laughs> Brent Rat. Yeah. Give Are these. Oh, yeah. Tell me more. Miss Walters, can you tell me about the boy in those photos? The boy in those photos? Adam. Tragic, really, what happened to his parents. His real parents. His real parents? They died in that fire. Horrible, really. I was there. At least those other cribs were empty. I only had to save Adam. Mrs. Walters, I really need you to focus. What are you talking about? Why, I already told that nice detective all this already. About the experiments and the fire at White Helix Labs. We knew Adam was special. That's why his parents started the fire. So they didn't do the same thing to the next batch of babies. So my, 
Adam's real parents were trying to protect him. But from what? Why? From the conspiracy, of course. But I've said too much. Would you be a dear now and go fetch my dinner? Miss Walters, please. I know it was a while ago, and remembering all the details might be hard. But do you think you can try and focus for a minute? What did you tell the detective? Well, Mr. Radford and I spoke about many, many things. But don't you have meals to deliver? And where is my dinner? Miss Walters, please. I... Well, Mr. So she's bad. Charm. I would love to hear more about the boy in those photographs. Such a polite and handsome young man. It'll be my pleasure. The boy in the photo, Adam. Jensen was never really his last name, you know. We only gave that to him after the fire. Fire? At White Helix Lab. That's where Adam's real parents were. At least I think they were his parents. All those babies, the gene therapy they went through. But Adam, oh, Adam was special. Special? How? He survived what they did to those babies. He was one of a kind. Then, when we heard they were going to use him to inoculate the next batch of infants. Wait, what were they doing to the babies? I wish I could remember. I was just part of a nursing staff, but Adam's parents, they started the fire. Yes, I remember that. They asked me to hide Adam. Then they started the fire. Poor things. They never got out in time. So they started a fire at White Helix Labs, and you hid me. No, not you, dear. Adam Jensen. Or at least I think that was his name. Well, I gave him to the Jensens to raise. They were a lovely couple. Miss Walters, my Adam's real parents, who were they? I'm sorry. What were we talking about? Oh, when are them Rolling Mills people going to get here with my dinner? Miss Walters, please. Well, Miss... Mm. Miss Walters. Well. That's it? That's all? That's, like, all? Thank you for your time, Miss Walters. Oh, before I forget. If you see Adam, could you please give him this? It's for all the birthdays and Christmases I've missed. I've been saving them. I'll make sure he gets it. Thank you, dear. Why, he must be 12 or 13 by now. Make sure he gets something nice. <laughs> receive money from here. Oh, hello, dear. Is it dinner time already? That's powerful. Let's wash hands. Pritchard, have a talk with you. Pritchard, I need you to assign a temporary security detail to an apartment on Brooklyn Court until I can figure out a more permanent solution. The woman's name is Walters, Michelle Walters. Security detail? What the hell, Jensen? Who is this woman? She's family, but she's vulnerable. I'll explain later. Just do this for me, please. And not a word to Seraph. Can I trust you on this, Pritchard? Christ, Jensen. All right, all right, I'll do it. But there better be a damn good reason for this. There is. I'll fill you in next time I see you. But right now I need to get back to work. And Pritchard, thanks. Yeah, yeah. Achievement. Hmm. Follow Pritchard's leads to uncover the truth. Ooh, that was something special. Computer.
Jupiter. Unhacked. So it's like endless experience. Oh, come on. What's level one, computer? Access grant. I think that's where I broke the TV. Yeah, <laughs> I think so. Nothing behind the fridge. Right, so we are up for the main quest now. No other, no other fun stuff to do. Now, can I jump there, possibly? <laughs> no. Missed. Missed. But okay. I'm going to approach the place now and after that I'll I think I'll just stop my recording because well we've been through a lot today. Uncovered some truths about Jensen's past. Can I enter a limp clinic? Oh I can! Alright, well let's uh, postpone the end of the stream yet. Unless this is an emergency, I suggest you keep moving. So... I'd be careful of her. Will you be purchasing? If you have Praxis... Oh, they have two. Amazing. Amazing. And I cannot sell. Always a pleasure, sir. Now, let's check an up. How are you? Rioters are tearing the city apart. They are, they are. True. So, can. Ooh, examination happening. How is it? I saw the news. You're one of those super soldiers. You're not gonna kill me, are you? <laughs> hey! I haven't done anything. I'm not going to kill you. Of course not. Hey man, how is it? All sorts of rioters are running amok down near Saraf Plaza. So, I think I was this very special genetic guy. So, we have how many Praxis kits? <laughs> 18 Praxis points. Oh, I think I could complete. I think I can actually complete most of my stuff here. Can I? Maybe it makes sense to improve the speed of energy recharge, you know. Well, let's keep it for the next stream, you know, to have fun. Uh, and uh, finally I get a message in the chat from the bot, spam bot, which is pretty nice. So, participation. Can I go to the Serif Industries building? And if yes, where? Convention center. Oh, I remember this place. And where is where is Serif Industries? I don't remember. It has to be somewhere. Somewhere here, I think. Lies of the sun is there. Please some even on the I've done nothing wrong. I believe it. So, where is the serif? I'm looking at. Oh, so I can't. Mm. 
convention center it is. Understood. plans a firebrand speech like that in this city when we all know it's ready to blow. If I didn't know any better, I swear this is what happened. Everything seems to be under control in the convention center. And Taggart? He's on stage now. His protection is deep. Only those with VIP passes can get by the guards. We'll just stay here, and make sure none of those hooligans try to sneak in the back door. Can I help you, man? No one is allowed in the meeting hall. Too many loot. You can't get in unless you have a pass. Have the riots pass. forced us to block off the meeting hall during the speech. Have the pass, but I don't really need it. I can just go in right away. So... That's where I enter, and I think I'll save my game now. And that's it. Let's call it a day. Thanks for watching. That was part 11. See you soon, guys. And bye-bye.